to your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. And today we have the honor of taking care of Dr. William Tanner, who is a professor emeritus of English for the University Te of Texas, right? No, Texas Woman's University. Texas Woman's University. <laughs> and uh, has gone three quarters of a decade or of a century in his life without ever having chiropractic care until just a couple months ago. That's true, Doctor. I hate to admit it, but yeah. it's absolutely true. And can you tell our YouTube viewers why you came in? Well, I had such pain in my back and shoulders that I uh, decided I'd just have to come to a chiropractor who I had never known about or tried. And uh, when I did, the first day I left feeling so much better than I'd felt in at least 25 years, perhaps longer. And since I've been coming these past few weeks, I feel better every day. As a matter of and fact, and how about today? As a matter of fact, I told you before we started yeah. this that I feel so good that maybe I'm cured. <laughs> uh, I, I can tell you, I don't have pain, and I have had pain, severe pain that I would cry with. We praise the Lord for that. And I don't have pain now. Yeah. And this man is absolutely genius. Well, I've told other people, so other, other friends, <laughs> he knows where the pain is. He can find it in his fingers, and when he finds it. You may hurt for a moment, but when you get up, it stops hurting, That's and true. it gets better. Thank I you. can tell you, it's just wonderful. Yeah. Thank well, you, Doctor. You're quite welcome. It's a pleasure. And you can also read uh, Dr. Tanner's Google review on us on Google. So, uh, absolutely, let's go. every word is true there. Too. Yep. Let's go ahead and look straight into the mirror here, and we're going to have Dr. Tanner flex his head forward and backwards for us. Now, I want you to notice he has a quite a bit of restriction in extension. Uh, and his main problems was his shoulders and the lower cervical spine here, specifically right down in the C5-6 area on the left side. But in his posture, we have a forward translation and also a forward rotation on the x-axis, which brings his head like down forward, which you can see. Now he is translated to the right on the x-axis but he's very even down in his thoracolumbar and pelvic area with just a tiny bit of translation to the right on the x-axis down in his pelvis, but that's great. Okay, so let's come over here, Dr. Tanner, and show him what we do to help you feel better. There we go. Oh, my tummy? Oh, yes, sir. Now, Dr. Tanner, when I first started working on him, uh, he found out real quick how sharp my elbows were. And you notice that his legs were even, by the way, and his pelvis didn't raise way off the table. So he has a negative knockless and a negative Deerfield test, which is excellent. But I still know that he has some subluxations or misalignments in the pelvic region, which right now I'm on the right sacroiliac joint. Then I'm adjusting the sacrum, which is the middle triangular shaped bone, straight superior to inferior on the y-axis. And then I'm hitting L5, L4, L3, L2, and L1 all in the z-axis. But you notice the plane of my arm changing as I went up. And then we just do some gentle mobilizations in his thoracic spine, which we could just, there you go, nice and easy, nice and better. Now, I don't know if you probably didn't hear that first, that one was really well, good. But here's what we have to do to get rid of these long-term, what's called trigger points, which are basically just metabolic waste products of cellular metabolism that build up in muscle tissue and the fascia or the covering of the muscle gets very, very tight or hypertonic and that will not let the blood carry out all the metabolic waste products from normal cellular metabolism. So what we're doing is we're putting some pretty deep, steady pressure into his trapezius muscles, levator scapula muscles, as well as his rhomboid muscles. Now he used to almost fly out of the table whenever we did this initially, but he doesn't even flinch too much now. 
And this is probably one of the best days you've had since you've been with us, huh, Dr. Absolutely. Kent? Absolutely. It's our best day. I can yeah. tell you that. It's best day. We like hearing that stuff here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief. There we go. Now, he is one of the few patients that has been able to stand what you guys <laughs> named for us instead of the Terminator or Johnsonator. We're going to call it the Turbonator. And it's a very deep myofascial release. themselves but see uh, some of our patients this is so deep that it, they can't stand it but there are others like Dr. Tanner and myself which you saw on a video I did yesterday evening getting an adjustment myself that loves it deeper and harder because myofascial pain syndrome is where you have a bunch of these trigger points all over your body. Now, when you get enough of those, they call it fibromyalgia. Now, while I've got his head in forward flexion here, we have been getting movement right here at T1 and T2 in his upper thoracic spine. Very good. Okay, let's turn you on your back now, please, sir. I have a great deal of respect for Dr. Tanner because he's accomplished a significant amount of variety of things in his career and life. And now he's enjoying the fruits of that labor. There we go. You just got yourself a great big old home entertainment system, huh? I did. That's great. There we go. But, as he will probably tell you himself, he's an avid reader, and writer for that matter. What's some of your published works? Uh, my best known work is uh, Rhetoric and Change. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> is that on Amazon? Uh, it actually is uh, sold out at the moment, but there are used copies you can find on Amazon, I'm sure. Okay. Or maybe even eBay sometimes. That's true, that's true. It's always in the library. But it's always a pleasure to treat Dr. Tanner because of his extensive knowledge in life as well as his attitude towards life. And, and he does the things that we talk about doing with patients all the time, like sitting properly, sleeping properly, doing his home exercises. And Well, I do try. <laughs> yeah. But you've done better since you've been doing those. You have taught me. I, and I, I'm grateful. I appreciate it. Yeah, well, the patients who actually participate in their care do get better results. And now we're going to take them over here and shoot him. We like him so much. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, we're going to go ahead and have you close your eyes and flex your head forward and backwards again. Now, see, he has a little bit of improved extension already. But we're going to create a mirror image now of his posture. Bring his head all the way back. And then we're going to adjust his atlas in a mirror image of his posture. And now, because he also has down here at that C5, C6 level. There we go. Okay. Some rotation there. Let's flex you forward and backwards again. Now, look there. Better, it's Much better. Yeah, did that feel easier to you? Of course. See how his shoulders are squared off now? His head's up and back more. And he went 75 years without getting a chiropractic adjustment, and now he's at your Houston chiropractor's office in Houston, Advanced Chiropractic Relief. And I'm signing off. We'll see you next time.